Welcome to SunPower Equinox Pro Tips. This video demonstrates how to wire and install a revenue grade production metering current transformer, or CT. For the purposes of this video, we'll assume your PVS6 is already mounted and wired for power. This work should only be done by qualified personnel. Follow the NFPA 70E rules when working on an open dead front in a service panel, or safely disconnect the panel from service with the meter removed as shown here. All branch and main breakers need to be shut down before beginning work. Use a voltmeter to ensure power is completely off. If the system is energized and the CT is installed on the PV system output conductor, there may be current present on the wire leads. Therefore, as an extra measure of caution, always wire the CT leads inside the PVS before installing the CT. To summarize the process, first we'll route the CT wires from the main service panel to the PVS. Next, we'll wire the leads to their proper terminals within the PVS. And finally, we'll install the CT in the main service panel. Let's get started. The tools and materials you will need include a wire pulling fish tape, electrical tape, insulated wire strippers, a torque screwdriver calibrated between 4.4 and 5.3 inch pounds, and the SunPower revenue grade production metering CT, which has one smooth side and one engraved side. More on this in a moment. The production CT must be installed in a location where it can measure the combined output of all circuits in the PV system. It could be on the output of a combiner subpanel, or the input on the backfed breaker on the panel, or, like in our example shown here, it can capture multiple output circuit conductors feeding individual breakers. The first step will be to route the CT wire leads from the CT location to the PVS6. Use the fish tape to guide the CT leads through the conduit to the PVS6. Trim the leads to an appropriate length. Maintain the twist of the CT wire leads to within one inch of the terminals. Now strip approximately one quarter inch of insulation off the end of the black and the white wires. Find the prod terminal in the PVS6. The connections are clearly labeled on the sticker beneath the terminal. Connect the black CT lead to the black terminal post and the white CT lead to the white terminal post. Make sure that all strands of wire are in the terminal and that no wire insulation blocks the contact between the terminal and the bare wire. With your torque screwdriver, tighten the screws to within 4.4 to 5.3 inch pounds. Take care here as over tightening may cause damage to the terminal block and will void the warranty. Give a slight tug on each wire lead to ensure the leads are connected and secure. Now we can install the production CT on the L1 or black conductors from the combined PV system output. Pass the conductor wires through the hole of the CT. Make sure the engraved face of the CT faces toward the source of utility power. Now connect the L1 conductors to their terminals and tighten the connections to the manufacturer's specifications. And that's it. Thanks for watching this training video. To learn more, check out the description for links to helpful resources and other training videos.